Sometimes you're just unlucky. So uh, I read this article a couple days ago about a uh, concealed carry holder in Colorado who basically uh, stopped a mass shooting for, for all intents and purposes and then was tragically uh, mistaken as the gunman by responding police officers and then they shot him. So uh, Jonathan Hurley, I believe is how you pronounce that. I'll, I'll post the article here below. Uh, but this bad guy rolled up. Uh, pulled out a shotgun out of his car, shot a police officer, just kind of not point blank, but pretty close for no reason as far as we can tell. Uh, concealed carry holder rolls up, shoots the bad guy, deals with the problem, um, and then is uh, recovering the bad guy's weapon, which was an AR at that point. The bad guy had gone back to his car, got his, dropped a shotgun, got his AR, and then responding officers showed up, mistook him for the gunman, and then shot him, and, and he didn't make it. Uh, it, it's a sad story, right? It's a sad story all the way around. Um, when friendly fire incidents happen, it's always tragic. Uh, that, that always, always sucks. And, you know, maybe there's a tactical thing you could learn from this, right? Like, don't pick up and hold the bad guy's gun. I, I don't know how long he had it. I don't know what he was doing with it, right? I, I don't know any of that. So maybe there's, there's some small, like, tactical thing you could learn here. But by and large, this is just a case of bad luck. Uh, this is just a case of one guy, the Jonathan Hurley guy, doing his job. And, and I don't mean like his profession. I mean like here's a guy who stood in the gap, right? Here's a guy who's a hero who said there's, there's a bad guy just shooting random people and I'm going to go do something about that. He didn't just duck his head and go home. He didn't just ignore the problem. Uh, he went and dealt with the problem and it cost him his life. And, and in that regard, we, we want to honor those people, right? Like, that guy did the right thing. He was mistaken for the bad guy and was tragically shot. And I'm sure the police officer who shot him feels horrible. Uh, it just sucks. It's just an incident of bad luck. And sometimes, when you decide to lay it on the line to help other people, you get bad luck. And it just, it just happens. It, it's part of the risk you're assuming. It's part of the game you're going to play. And you could say, listen, Dylan, I'm not going to play that game. You know, this is, this is exactly why I'd never get involved in a third party incident. And I just, I just turn and go home. And I would say, listen, more people are alive today because Mr. Jonathan Hurley decided to sacrifice his life and decided to take that risk and lay it on the line than if he would have just turned and went home. More people are alive because this guy took it on himself to stand in the gap, see a problem, and solve the problem. And we need more men like that. We need more men like that in this country. Uh, we, we don't need people who are just going to duck out of it and, and try to avoid the problem, right? There's this whole thing in, in kind of the concealed carry instructor world, which I consider myself a part of because I, I teach permit to carry. Uh, there's this whole thing where, you know, we're just going to avoid problems and we only carry our guns to just defend us and we're, gonna, we're just going to look the other way and not do anything about problems. And, and I don't, I understand where that's coming from, from like a, a legal risk evaluation perspective and whatever. I get that. But from a moral perspective, uh, if there's someone who's shooting a place up, do something about it. If you're just going to turn tail and run, or you're just going to go home, or you're just going to ignore the problem because you don't want to get involved, what are you carrying a gun for? You could say, oh, Dylan, well, I'm, just, I'm just protecting, carrying it to protect me and myself and whatever. And I'm like, listen, I, I just, I don't, like, that just feels selfish to me. We, we all deride uh, the police officer who stood outside of the Parkland School shooting in Florida for not going into the building and doing something. We all rightly call him a coward for not doing something about that. And I would level the same charge against you if you're just gonna say, listen, Dylan, I'm just, I'm just gonna keep to myself and I'm gonna ignore the problem. Get in there, be the hero, do something about it. Uh, I don't really have any mental space in my brain anymore for people who want to just ignore it and they're just gonna turn the other way and go because they're, they don't wanna get involved. Uh, so, Thank you to Jonathan Hurley uh, and, and anybody that's involved with him. We appreciate you, and we're sorry you're no longer with us. The world is a lesser place without men like that. Do brave deeds and endure.